Hello, everyone. Anybody in the room? In the ether? OMG Morgan. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. How are you? <laughs> Morgan. Um, thank you. Hey, Morgan, we're the, um, um, the avatar of, uh, the avatar act. The one that, um, that you got on, um, IG. Oh, the um, IG um, Calhoun um, the IG um, it's hot <laughs> we just turned the air on <laughs> Oh, cool. Aunt Maddie, hi, Aunt Maddie. I was thinking about you earlier. I was just, Aunt Maddie, I was just talking about you like two seconds ago. I said, <laughs> Aunt Maddie, I was telling Tay, I was like, Aunt Maddie said we should put out more content. <laughs> I said, so we got to put out some more content. <laughs> oh, that's Tay's phone. <laughs> we on our way to the save a lot. Oh. <laughs> I'm ready to tell Uncle David hello? we said hello. <laughs> hello? Hello? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm being nosy. I'm ear hustling on his conversation. But, um, so, we, I know, I know, we, <laughs> we couldn't afford to go at this point in time, because we, you know, we, Dante is very good at, um, Budgeting, I'm not the budgeter. I will spend like I would have went, but Tim was like, you know, we we cannot be dwindling money like that because you know it's really tight. But hey, Princess Lizzie. Oh, Uncle said hey. He said hey. He on his <laughs> he on his phone. <laughs> <laughs> but, me and Tay Saya Rose Hey girl we Hi baby girl <laughs> Oh look So me and, me and Tay was talking about Well he was saying that I be talking a lot Right And I know I talk a lot Right So I've been practicing Guarding my tongue And I've been practicing Not talking Right have I been doing good? You did good last night on the way home. I did real good on the <laughs> on the way home last night. See the way I do it now. I it's a it's a it's a thing where um I, I make pretend. Well, I don't make pretend, but I just be like not in my feelings, but in my little meditational type thing and that's how I do it. I gotta find a way not to be talk talk talking because what did the man it was a saying a, a wise man said that uh, a, a, a wise man 
has something to say. Has few words. But he said a wise man has something to say. Has uh, speaks when he has something to say. But a, a stupid man always has to say something or something like that. It was a good saying. So then I just started thinking about it like, do I talk a lot? Do I really talk a lot? And yes, I do talk a lot. I talk a lot, y'all. And y'all don't be around for for my talking, but he be around for my con. I mean, it's it's a ongoing chat session with me. It's and I do feel bad because I talk a lot, and he is just bombarded with my thoughts. Right. <laughs> 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 Reels and imagining. <laughs> and so I'm trying to get better with that because I don't want to lose him, you know. You know, I don't want him to be sad because he'll be sad without me, you know. So <laughs> I don't want to make him sad, and I don't want to be sad. Yeah, I think Uncle Uncle um Uncle said it. Oh my goodness, Aunt Maddie, that is a yes, Uncle said it. He said, a fool is speaking because he has to say something. A wise man is speaking because he has something to say. Bingo. Yes, Aunt Maddie, yes, Uncle said that. And it just, it, was, it hit me like a ton of bricks. <clears throat> and then I'm like, is the universe trying to tell me something that I really need to guard my tongue? But y'all, here's what it is. <coughs> Dante, <coughs> when Dante looked at me for the first time, I could tell that he really loved me and he didn't see this, right? So it amazed me, right? And when I saw that he didn't see my mouth or my teeth action, when I saw he didn't see that, it just made me okay to talk because I was not like a talker. It made me okay to talk, right? But then I just took it to another level and just talk, talk, talk. So, I got a lot of work to do, y'all. I got a lot of work to do. Because, you know, my relationship might be on the line. And I'm just not willing to put my relationship on the line because I can't shut up. You know, so maybe in the house I'll be practicing more quiet. Giving him more quiet time. He need time to himself. You know, quiet time. Cause I'm always going. I can go all day. Right? Mm -hmm. I, can I can go all day. <laughs> I did want to um talk about. He has to say something. A wise man is speaking because he has something to say. Absolutely, Aunt Mandy. Absolutely. I did want to one thing I did want to talk about because I had got a request was metaphysical. And I think I'm gonna save that for later. Metaphysical, um, and you, the paranormal. We all deal with the paranormal on a daily Oh, thank you, Aunt Maddie. I love you. Thank you, sweetie. What the heck? Mister? I thought you were taking a picture of him, Oh. <laughs> good God. <laughs> the other lady looking like, what the heck? She saw him do that. And she was like, what the heck was that? <laughs> oh. He thought she was taking a picture. He thought, this man thought I was taking a picture of him. And he went and like. I'm like, okay. But, um, Celise, and she's a miracle, asked me about, oh, thank you, Aunt Maddie. I, th 
thank you so much. I absolutely will always share you out. Thank you so much. But um, Zaya, I mean, um, she's a miracle. And Celise Hill wanted me to talk about um, the metaphysical and the paranormal, which is uh, almost one and the same. Um, really, metaphysical is how the spirit realm and the physical intertwine. Um, paranormal is above normal or something beyond the normal. And basically, we, we are interacting with the paranormal on a daily basis, especially if you're seeing numbers. If you see the numbers 11, 11, 9, 11, or any type of reoccurring numbers, I'm sorry, recurring numbers, if you are seeing that on the constant basis, that is the universe connecting with you or the spirit realm connecting with you. That is paranormal. That is not normal. That is not what, and when I say normal, that's not what what people go around talking about every day. You know, uh, what numbers did you see today? Oh, I always see, well, me, in my life, I'm always seeing numbers. It started in 2012 when the spirit realm started really connecting with me. And where I see things that every day you don't see every day. Like, I've seen things in the sky. I've seen something in the sky. It wasn't a bird. It was not a plane. But it was your flying. Um, sometimes I will see figures running across my um, peripheral. Um, I have seen so much, y'all. Um, I have been in a... Um, you going in, babe? Oh, he's on a phone call. Yeah. He's on a phone call. You always see that. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Yes, 11-11. What that is, every time you see that, Morgan, that is you going through a doorway. You see the 11s going down? That's like a gateway, a doorway that you're passing through because we're always traveling. It doesn't look like we're moving, but we're always moving. It's a trick of the camera, I'm telling you. Everything that you see on the outside of you is really on the inside of you. And you are being show, shown a picture of what's going on inside of your brain. If you are, just say, if you're taking a trip somewhere to a lavish place, that's what's going on inside of you. Your spirit is calm on everything. If you find yourself in an abandoned building, sleeping in an abandoned building, your insides need to be clean. It's, it, uh, everything you see outside, that is the universe speaking to you. So everything is paranormal. Everything is metaphysical. And how the journey starts, you're a one-dimensional character right we are children of the sun we come literally from the sun the sun sends its light codes its information to your hair right to your father's hair your father's um you know um oh my god <coughs> Your nervous cell, your nervous system, the nervous system. Hey, Shay's world, beautiful. How you doing? I'm so honored to have you here, Ladybug. How you doing, Shay's world? We um we talking about how the journey starts when you are one dimensional character coming from the sun. You come from the sun onto your, your father's nervous system through his hair follicles, go into the nervous system back here. And then what we do is we fall from grace from up here to your, your nervous system down into your father's balls. And when you go down into your father's balls, you start as a one-dimensional character. When he shoots you into the mother's womb, you're two-dimensional. When you come out through the womb, 
you're three dimensional. So you in the third dimensional realm. Now we're trying to huh? Oh yes, honey. Um, yo, I'm so sorry. This is y'all what the testicles. I'm sorry. <laughs> I said balls. I'm sorry. Testicles. Right. Morgan, I'm sorry. Don't pay me no mind. Hear me. He's probably annoyed. I say everything. I'm sorry. Yo, I apologize. I don't have no filter. But I'm gonna talk about that. Oh, I'm coming, Ted. I'm coming. Well, we gotta go. We're going shopping. We have. You going to get a cart? <laughs> we went shopping. Um, we need some food. We went a little bit shopping yesterday, but you know we need some. We did the bulk yesterday. Now we need the little things. Uh, <laughs> But, <laughs> yeah, y'all, so I'm going to talk about that um, a little later. Um, how we fell from grace. And that's all that that is. The Bible, everything in the Bible that the Bible speaks of is talking about how we came into this realm. The Bible is a book about the human body. And I can tell you, like the lake of fire. The body is talking about the body when it says um, the lake of fire. Because the body is 98 degrees and it's 75% water, lake and fire, simultaneously. So the body is the lake of fire, right? The body is 50 some billion cells or trillion cells locked in. we locked into all of these cells they are jail cells we're locked in right the spirit is locked in that's why there are so many different ways to die because the spirit wants to escape this jail these cells that we're in this jail that that we are in we're locked in the body forced to you know forced to cry forced to poop forced to eat we have to eat 37.2 trillion you better share more <laughs> yeah hey bro i miss you bookie hi i miss you april april girl i was i wasn't feeling good the other day and then yesterday we went out to his parents so i haven't been able to do anything but yeah y'all um, I'm going to talk about that more in depth, right? But, yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, these cells, we are totally locked into these cells for us to do what the body tells us to do. So, the, the, really, the real key in life is to try to have as less wants and less desires as we can have you know because everything that we're putting into our temple is weighing us down the grave gravity the grave it's weighing us down everything every desire that we have it puts on more weight to this third dimensional you know realm uh, this body in this third dimensional realm but that's what I was going to talk about later on and everything. Um, I'm going to go in here and help him with this um, meal. Well, this food. I'm going to be um, getting a couple things for tonight. So, Anyways, y'all. Um, thanks, everybody, for coming in. Thank you, April. Thank you, OMG Morgan. Thank you, Aunt Maddie. Everybody. Shay, thank you for coming in, baby. Um, oh, my goodness. Just thanks so much, everyone. I love y'all. 
Lizzie, my baby Lizzie, Lizzie, thank you, thank you, thank you. And everybody on this live, I mean, everybody that's in this room, and this is no joke, I enjoy watching you all. So it is an honor that y'all came on to um, Jay and Tay, and y'all don't even know. It's like, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, y'all is... Thank you, Aunt Maddie. Aunt Maddie, I don't know. You just touched me. Something fierce. You do. You touch my heart. Thank you. I was looking at your videos from last year. And just the growth is tremendous. And I'm so proud of you. And I just thank you. Yeah. Thanks so much. Um, Y'all are amazing. But who going live today? Because I'm, I'm popping on everybody's live today. I'm going to pop on everybody's live today. And then after that, I'm going to um, do a little live this evening. Three. Got you, Princess Lizzie. Three o'clock. So I got something to do at three. Um, Chase, you going live today? April, you going live today? Oh, <laughs> oh, you do security chewy on. Say, I'll be there. I will be there, beautiful. I will be there. Seven o'clock. So I got a three. I got a seven. Aunt Maddie, your daughter on. Is that cutie chewy? I'm going on cutie chewy now. So, y'all, I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for coming through for sister. I love y'all. Y'all are my family. I appreciate y'all so much. Oh, okay. I'm going through the cutie, cutie chewy now. Shay, thank you. I'll see you at 7. Lizzie, I'll see you at 3. Um, OMG Morgan, I'll see you. Um, I'm... I'm I'm going to your, whatever you do, OMG Morgan, your IG, your, um, I'm going, I'm going to all of y'all. I'm going to all of y'all. So I love y'all so much. Princess Lizzie, see you at three. And I'll see y'all later. I'm going in here to, um, to the store, um, to the, uh, market. <laughs> I love y'all. Talk to y'all later.